Hi friends, <laughs> welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I'm inside the barn because I wanted to do an update on how everyone is doing and to talk about a little bit of this crazy weather that we've been having in the Pacific Northwest and really all over California. So everyone loves to eat my earrings. Apparently they look delicious. So it's gonna be an interesting video to try to get put together. Um, I've gotten a couple of messages on Instagram wondering about how we are doing with this cyclone thing and it's one storm after the next that we've been experiencing here. We do have wind, right now we do have wind and we do have like this <laughs> light rain at the moment but it's all over the place because you know it's light rain and then all of a sudden it starts raining really really hard um we've had a couple of nights that we had to get up in the middle of the night because things were flying everywhere that including our canopy oh look I'm not joking over here, look. <laughs> just fell. I mean, it's very convenient so the goats can eat it. <laughs> so as far as how we're doing, uh, we're doing fine, but it it is windy. But conditions over here are nothing like they are in Santa Rosa or how they were in San Francisco last week. We don't have those uh, kind of crazy floods and or anything really like that. But we've been having lots and lots of wind and I've had to go to different doctor's appointment I had to go to the airport and the airport's like three and a half hours four hours from us so it's been you know kind of driving you never know if you can go through a road if there's gonna be a tree that is down and that kind of thing but really as far as us being here we do get scared in the middle of the night because we're surrounded by trees and they're not just a lot of people say are you just by the trees and I'm like no but this trees are you know super super tall <laughs> and um, it really if they fall you really don't have to be by them to get some damage so I have all my friends here this is little Aria she's a sweet girl she's Annie's little girl and um, she is our barn clown, uh, Clara, Clara, can you please stop chewing on my camera? Thank you. Stop that. She's probably eating something, like she probably got something out of the camera. Anyway, hi, Andy. So anyway, we're still going to continue to get this uh, series of storms that are forming over the Pacific in form of wind and rain. There's a lot of rain in the forecast. There's a lot of uh, warnings on high winds. We've been having uh, winds of, I think, 45 hours, um, miles per hour. And then we've been having the wind gust of about 60, between 60 and 80. Please don't bite. Please behave, Clara. You're the oldest. You know the drill. You know what it feels like to be pregnant. Yes, you do. Hi. Hello, Ava. You're just the cutest little girl. Oh, my little girls. Yeah, baby, they're my little girl. Look at you. Who is there in that camera? Oh, there's my other little girl. Little Athene. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. These are my sweet little girls. You're pregnant, though. But I like that you're not hormonal. Probably just yet. Clara? We're having issues over here. I know, I know, I know. Mocha? Stop that! So you can see the animals are kind of enjoying all the things that are falling from the sky. It's like free food. 
snacks. The one thing that we've been doing lately since this crazy windstorm started is putting everyone in early in the afternoon afternoon um, since the days are getting longer slowly we do have some kind of light because it's very overcast please don't eat my earrings Clara you're such a bad example you're everything that a pregnant mom shouldn't do and your daughter is looking at you and learning Oh no, there, there's a girl pooping by me. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. I can't make this stuff up, okay? So this is the time of the year that I usually start to putting them up later in the day. And I go by little increments. I do like 15 minutes later every day. If you know anything about goats, you probably know that they are very much um, lovers of routines and they do know they kind of know the time. Sometimes it's really not about the light, but about the time that you usually put them up every night. So because of that, I do it, or I learn to do it by little increments of 15 minutes, and that's what I'd be doing typically. But since we're having this crazy, Briere! Her name used to be Brie. She was so sweet. But now it's like we're in this we're in this era where she needs her full name because she's just so naughty. So Gaia Clara Stop it. I swear you guys. I swear I love you too. I love you girls. And I love your children in their bellies. Yes, I love children. In Mocha's belly. Yes, ma'am. That's Mocha. She has tons of children in the belly. Who has tons of children in the belly? This is Briere. Miss Fatty. Okay, you too. You're Miss Fatty too. Oh, Clara, you're fatty too. You guys love to be my fatties. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can't wait for your children, Clara. I'm so excited for your babies. <coughs> oh, here comes the rain. Oh, no. Can you please stop doing that? slight rain right now so I'm kind of sad that they can't go in later as I would have done last year um, but it really is for their safety there are lots of trees they're super smart I'm sure if there's a tree falling uh, they'd be smart enough to uh, get out of the way and fast enough to get out of the way but the only problem that I'm having about leaving them outside is just the fact that if I'm not home and there's a, a, a tree or a big limb that falls on the fence, um, I'm just scared to death to come back one night and have missing goats and have to be looking through the woods. And as I mentioned before, we do have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of acres in the area that are just, um, kind of wooded so I would be devastated if I would have to go out at night to look for them in the middle of the night so despite the fact that the storm is not really crazy I've seen a lot of trees that fell in our property thankfully not on top like big trees on top of the house or um, Kind of messing up the fence but I'm just too scared of not being here and something bad happening so because of that they're going in earlier and this storm it's really kind of messing up 
my whole plan and schedule but as long as we are not getting those kind of floods and all the crazy things that San Francisco is going through right now I think we're gonna be okay I mean it's just an inconvenience if anything and it's making it please leave my earrings that's their favorite snack they want to eat my earrings leave it my hair that's very yummy too guys am I gonna have to bring that chair so you guys leave me alone I mean and it's not one or two goats I have Mr. Blackie over there crying for attention this one's free this one's Gaia you can't see her but this one right here Gaia I have Athene I have oh, Briere, knock it off, knock it off. I have Mocha here, then I have Clara. Annie is with her little girls right behind me because she uh, knows it's dinner time. Uh, we're trying to be really responsible at the time of leaving and kind of checking the weather because as I mentioned in our area, there's a lot of trees down. And you probably hear it in the news, there are always trees falling. And sometimes, you know, just people happen to be driving by them. And it's very, very dangerous to be driving with windy conditions. Now, if I have to go to a doctor's appointment or if I have to go, like, right now, I'm going to have to go tomorrow to the airport to pick up my son. I mean, that's going to have to, you know, we're going to have to try to be safe as we're driving. It's just a lot of scary movement in the woods. But I'm still praying for the people of California that are encountering this horrible. I think there's, at least in this morning, there was this report of 14 people dead. Uh, and there are cars submerged in water. There's like this gush of water. I mean, it's, it's horrible. Uh, they're under flooding conditions everywhere. There are signs. Um, they were declared, I think, a state of emergency. It's just a scary, scary storm. Um, and for us, we're just trying to sit it out to be okay with whatever Mother Nature throws at us and try to be responsible with the driving and stuff like that. Gaia, okay, let me see that other. Woo, pretty otter. I think you need, let me see. Uh, I think you need some copper, girl. Your nose is telling me that you need some copper. May I pet your children? Let me see your nose. Uh, your nose looks good. Let me see yours. Maybe need some copper too, Briar. Kind of looking at the bridge of their nose. And when they need copper, uh, they look like that. But look at Clara. She doesn't need copper. And her nose, right here, well, the bridge looks okay. I mean, she has all the hair, it doesn't look funny or anything. But then look at Brie. She has like a little opening. Can you see that opening over there? Like right there. Um, that's not super bad, but that's kind of a clear indication that she needs copper. If you look at her thing, the bridge of her nose is full of hair, there are no clumps, it looks really, really good. But let me see if I can see Gaia from here. Can you see Gaia in the middle? You know, right there? She, she's starting to lose the hair and um, in my experience with my goat, when I see the bridge of their nose or uh, it's even kind of the head to start losing hair or clumping hair, that's kind of a clear indication that they need copper. So we're going to do that tomorrow, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to the airport, but um, yeah, it's... <laughs> It's a good thing that Clara is here to show everyone else what a goat that doesn't need copper looks like. 
Yes, you're just, that's the one good example you can give to us. Can we just not do a girl? Okay, let me see the other. Oh, the other is so pretty. Okay, milk it, 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 milk it. She's like, you're weird. You're not milking me right now. Okay, can we not eat my hair though? You're a sweet girl. No, do not eat my earring. And that's not cute. Don't do that. Girl! It's okay. It's okay. Mm. I want to see right side. Who wants to show me your belly? Mocha? <laughs> Can I look at your belly? Can I pet your children? What do you think? I had a big little worm when he was in your belly. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, look. There's a belly with children right here. The girls are so naughty. Hi, girlfriend. children not you guys you guys are children but not inside a belly Annie will show you she has a big belly good girl show me your belly hi there's a belly oh my goodness are you gonna have triplets or quads she's like whoa I found my mom <laughs> 